Hello, welcome to the Russell Wanless Performance Hall on the beautiful campus of Utah State University in Logan, Utah. I'm Nicholas Morrison, and it's my honor to be professor of clarinet here at Utah State University. First of all, I'd like to start by thanking you for making the commitment to audition for the Allstate Band. It's not something you can take lightly, and you can't show up and sight read your audition. You're gonna practice, you're gonna devote some time and effort, you're maybe gonna play for your teachers, you're watching this video, I hope it's helpful. And um, by the time you submit the recording for the audition, in a way you've already won, because the learning process and the amount that you'll learn about polishing music is incredible. Now, everybody can't get in the band, but everybody can learn something. So again, thank you for taking the bass clarinet audition for the Allstate Band. I wanted to share a few ideas to help you as you prepare. First of all, you'll notice that the piece is in E major. The mood, allegro con grazioso, is lively and graceful. Think about one beat to the bar, kind of like a waltz. If you haven't danced a waltz lately, it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just keep that gentle one to the bar feeling without getting heavy. A couple little technical things as you prepare. In measure nine, um, play the C sharp of that measure on the left so that you can take the grace note D sharp on the right. So here's the, the left hand C sharp, you all know where that is, and of course the D sharp key here. And now naturally B sharp is the same fingering as C natural. Um, and you'll see my fingers do that um, when I'm playing, playing through it just a little bit later. And so also put these grace notes on where the and of two would be. So think eighth notes in your head. Dee 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 la da da dum. So one, dee la da da one, two, three, one, dee la da da dum. Put them right on that and. And again, you'll hear that as I perform it for you in a few minutes. In measure 15, um, this may be one of the trickiest parts in the piece. Take the E-sharp with just the thumb, as you would, and then play the F-sharp with the bottom two side keys, and then the D-sharp with the sliver key on the left. Two measures before that, in measure 13, again, because we're in E major, make sure you play the low E on the right with this key so that you can then alternate the keys as you go up. Moving on to the key change, notice that we change to E minor, so only one sharp at measure 17. You may want to mark that first G as G natural, just so that you're not tempted to play a G sharp there, or maybe even the C as C natural, so you're not tempted to stay in E major. You'll want to think here with six beats to the bar. Adagietto means a little slow. So you think sort of one, two, three, one and two, three, something like that. Definitely in three, no longer in one. Sustain the D sharp at the end of measure 20, full value and crescendo all the way to just before the downbeat of 21. Make sure you have the G on right after the downbeat of 21 in your mind. It's a pretty pesky note on the bass clarinet. So you want to really have the, your mind ready to play that G. And the same thing with the A in the next measure and the B in the measure after that. When we get back to four sharps at measure 27, we're also back to one beat in the bar. And then you want to work for a lively, though not aggressive, staccato in 31. That's what the leggero means. It means lightly or easily. So nothing hammered, just a graceful, gentle, um, yet staccato articulation. And in the very last measure, make sure you're putting the emphasis on the downbeat so that we hear one, two instead of one, two. 
because there's no accent on the second beat of the bar um, at the end of the A ending, which we're supposed to play. Finally, please continue your playing wherever you go to college. While I hope you attend Utah State, wherever it is that you go, regardless of what you major in, music will always be your home. And any university will want you to be involved because the people that make the commitment to audition for Allstate are among the best players anywhere in Utah. Please continue that involvement. And please check out Utah State University. If you're considering our music program here at USU, send me an email. I'd be happy to schedule a lesson with you, um, either just to get to know you, um, for you to be familiar with my teaching style, or to help you prepare for solo and ensemble, or even preparation for college auditions, even if they're not all at Utah State. Again, thanks for listening today, and thanks for all your preparation. Best wishes for your Allstate Band audition.